Oh, oh, Series 1 just heated up so much. Hey, what's up, Hoobians? Friends of very kind here. Welcome to another episode review. And in this review, I'm going to be reviewing Dalek. First of all, I just want to say, wow, what an episode this is. Even though it's now 12 years old, it's still magnificent. And I'll tell you what, I'll be lucky if I find the words to describe this. So we start off with the TARDIS landing in an underground bunker, which turns out to be a museum. There's a signal that the TARDIS has pick up on. It's a distress signal and the doctor is there to help. They step out of the TARDIS and then they see the museum and it's full of alien artifacts. We see space debris from the Roswell space crash and there's a Slovene's arm that's been stuffed in a case and then he turns and sees one of his old friends. Well, enemy. A Cyberman head. Straight from the classic series. But the security of this place is alerted and the Doctor and Rose are surrounded. I love the line where Rose says, if someone's collecting alien artifacts, that makes you exhibit A. And then coming back from the title sequence onto the screen, we see the villain of this, well, not really the villain, but the villain of the episode, Henry Van Staten, walking up the corridor with his employees, and we realize just how heartless Henry Van Staten is. He fires one of his staff and tells the other staff to put him somewhere, beginning with, with M. Um, wipes his memory and everything. That, that's just how evil this guy is. And in the conversation that carries on between him and Diana Goddard, um, he wants to know what's going on with the cage, where he has his Metaltron. And we also meet uh, Adam Mitchell as well, who works for Henry Van Staten, and uh, he collects alien artifacts and uh, categorizes them. And in the next scene, um, the Doctor and Rose are in Van Staten's office um, with Adam and Diana Goddard. Van Staten is trying to figure out what this thing that, that Adam has just bought, what it is for, and the Doctor comes in and says, oh, it's a musical instrument, and... Shows them how to use it. That scene is a great scene between the Doctor and Van Staten. Um, sort of a male fight, really. Um, Rose pretty much sums it up when she says, Blimey, you can smell a testosterone. But I think uh, Rose brings out another piece of character here within herself um, when Van Staten uh, re refers to Rose as she. Uh, she's English and and then Rose says, she's going to slap you in a minute if you keep calling her she. It sort of brings out um, genetics, um, the same sort of characteristics as Jackie has, I think. Where she doesn't suffer falls gladly. But the next scene is probably the most iconic, not just in modern Who, but in all Doctor Who. When the Doctor goes into the cage... And uh, doesn't know what's in there. He's just told it's a Metaltron. And the way they introduce this villain is iconic, is, is brilliant. For the first time since the Time War, since he thought he killed them all, he meets a Dalek. At first he's scared because he thinks that, you know, he knows what the Daleks are capable of. So he tries to get out, but the door's locked, and then he turns around, and the Dalek, and the Dalek is screaming, "Exterminate! Exterminate! You are an enemy of the Daleks. You will be exterminated." But the thing is, with this, is that if you know that this Doctor is scared, then it is a scary situation, and Christopher Eccleston sells that with ease. But then he realizes, of course, that the Dalek's death ray is not working. And when he turns around, that's brilliant when he starts laughing. He said it's, it's sort of nervous laughing, but also sort of mocking. 
And then he walks around the Dalek, saying, "What are you good for if you if you can't kill, and your race is dead?" And uh, that scene is just so powerful and so moving, um, especially after when the Doctor says what happens in the last day of time war. I liked, really liked how the Dalek sort of uh, compared the Doctor and him, the Dalek, as the same. And then the Doctor got angry at that, but then he realized, you know what, maybe we are because I know what you deserve. And he tries to kill this Dalek by electrocuting it. But then, of course, Henry Van Staten's henchman comes in and takes the Doctor away. The scene in the elevator is brilliant as well. Um, when the Doctor is, is sort of telling Dino Goddard and Henry Van Staten about the Time War um, and what happened sort of thing. And then Henry Van Staten is like, okay, well, the Dalek is not the only living alien Doctor. There's you. And then he starts, he, he puts the Doctor in chains and, and starts scanning his body. Um, and then he, he sees that he's got two hearts. Um, that's a very, very powerful scene, I think. And then when Rose and Adam realize um, what's happening with the Dalek downstairs because um, Simmons is torturing it again, um, and then they go downstairs. That's very human of Rose um, to do what, what happened in that scene there. Um, she goes and, and talks to the Dalek and uh, touches the dome of, of the Dalek's head, which, of course, regenerated the Dalek and, and made him come alive again. Um, it was a weapon they used in the Time War. Um, extrapolating uh, DNA from a time traveler regenerates the body. I thought that was very well done. I thought very good writing, uh, very good direction. And the Dalek comes back to life and kills Simmons and downloads the internet and all the power just to fix himself so he's the death ray is working again and he, the Dalek is back to his powerful powerful self I like that scene where the doctor is actually explaining um, to Van Staten and Dana Goddard um, but I, as an audience as well he's explaining what's going on uh, with the Dalek and then the scene where in the corridor where they finally get up the stairs um, and of course Daleks don't have legs so how can they get upstairs that's been a, that was a running joke throughout classic who but they fixed it the Dalek elevates up the stairs while looking at uh, one of the guards uh, DiMaggio and uh, Rose and Adam uh, that's just freaky how he can do it, it, it just freaked me out like, this creature is looking at you whilst elevating himself up the stairs. And then Adam and Rose run off, and DiMaggio um, is unfortunately brought to a end. The scene in the warehouse area was just fantastic. All these soldiers are trying to shoot this Dalek dead, and the doctor is trying to tell them where to shoot, he says aim for the eyepiece, um, but the soldiers kind of dismiss that suggestion saying, you know, I think I know how to handle one single tin robot, well, <laughs> no you don't, the Dalek shows its power in this, uh, elevating, shooting a fire alarm out, soaking the place, and then, bam, every single one of those soldiers are dead and it's all seen on the monitor in the base um, because the doctor says the Dalek wants us to see and in the conversation after that between the doctor and the Dalek is one of the best conversations I think where the doctor's just saying why don't you just rid the universe of your filth and then the Dalek is just turned around. The best Dalek line. He says to the Doctor, you would make a good Dalek. Oh, that is so, so powerful. And so with Adam and Rose still trying to run out of the vault, 
uh, the Doctor is trying to steal the vault. Um, but wants to get Rose and Adam out first. Adam gets out, but unfortunately Rose doesn't and gets trapped. And the Doctor thinks that the Dalek has killed Rose. I like how Eccleston stopped and brings out his anger um, with Van Staten in that ensuing scene. I thought that was absolutely amazing. And of course, the Dalek can't kill Rose because he has absorbed her DNA. The scene in the elevator between Rose and the Dalek I thought was very, very powerful too when the Dalek's trying to start to question itself and then comes out and wants to kill Van Staten but Rose changes the Dalek's mind. And then the scene in the sort of garage area um, where the Dalek, all he wants is sunlight um, because he's evolving and changing into something new and the Doctor comes. I thought that was very powerful, the scene between the Doctor and Rose there, um, where, where the Doctor's got a gun, wants to kill this Dalek, but Rose is standing in the way, and uh, she won't get out of the way. And um, when Rose says, you know, he's not the one pointing the gun at me, that is so powerful. And then the Dalek kills itself because it's not a pure Dalek anymore. Um, that kind of shows you how hateful the Daleks are towards anything that isn't Dalek. And then Diana Goddard uh, tells Van Staten's um, employees to get rid of him, which I thought was very, very... It mirrored the first scene, I think, towards the end there. And then the, the scene between the Doctor and Rose, where, he's talk, where they're talking about the last uh, of the Time Lords uh, that the Doctor is... Um, that's very powerful as well um, because the doctor says you know what I'm no in here that I'm the last one that no one else survived and then when he says how about that I win I thought that, that that's very powerful uh, kind of acting there by Christopher Eccleston now the funny scene at the end uh, where the doctor called Adam pretty um, but once you know he, he's gonna go with the doctor and Rose anyway so it's, it's it, that, that's a good scene as well but yeah wow what a very powerful episode um, magnificent the best Dalek story that we've had since it started now the first Dalek story fantastic script fantastic direction brilliant characters good character development absolutely amazing if I could I would give this episode 1 million out of 10 but I'm only going out of 10 so I'm going to say 11 out of 10 definitely a must watch for any Whovian if this is going to be the first one you watch this is going to be the first one you're going to love it is wow I, words can't explain it it's just fantastic it's brilliant and the best of series 1 so far so anyways guys, have you seen this episode? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And as always guys, thank you for watching and like and subscribe.